guys, it's Wendy, AKA Kitty Street. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. And today I'm doing a video, a Dollar Tree video from my car. I was going to get out and take everything in and I said, let me go in and, you know, drag everything out of the car, set up my little setup. And I'm like, no, I don't feel like I'm going to do that today. So I'm going to show you everything from the car in the garage because I need to use some of this stuff ASAP and plus my house is a hot mess. Yeah, we have to talk about that later. But anyway, praying for everybody that's had all this craziness happening in the world with Hurricane Helene. Luckily for me and my family in the area that I'm in, it kind of rained for like seven days straight on and off. And then it just kind of hit a little with like windy kind of areas and hit some limbs and things like that. But it kind of jumped over us, but I know it affected a lot of people. So my heart goes out to everybody that, you know, is going through that. And I hope that everything gets straightened out pretty doggone fast. But, you know, right after Hurricane Helene in Georgia, there was a big chemical leak in one of the towns right up the street from me. And then, doggone it, in my own town of Jonesboro, Georgia, <laughs> we had a gas leak. So, lots of stuff's been going on, real creepy stuff for the, the start of October. Well, let's talk about October, right? So my son, and I do have to say this before I jump into this bag right here, I've got some goodies I wanna show you. I cannot wait. It feels like it's been an eternity since I've been able to talk to you guys about anything. I um, definitely wanna do a shout out for all the birthday babies for the month of October. My son had his 30th party on October. The first actually had it the day before, um, or actually the weekend before but his actual per birthday was the first and we did a little something something at the house and um my daughter's was the tail end of september so it's like lots of stuff going on i have like six nieces and nephews in between there that have birthdays in october so that's going to be a fun but fun month for me um with all kinds of activities and festivities and plus it goes into the wonderfulest time of the year for me starting off the seasons of fall, right? I don't want to just say Halloween because it's really fall for me. Um, I'm looking out. I know you can't see it because I got my stuff towards the um, garage part of it, but the leaves are falling. If I get a chance, I'll do some little videos and, st and um, um, slip it in here somewhere. You know how I roll. And I said all that to say this. It's just basically happy birthday to you guys that have birthdays in October. And yes, love October babies. They are just the sweetest people. I love everybody, right? But October babies, I've got so many of them around me. Um, they're Libras for the most part. <laughs> and yeah, they're a little challenging, but I love you each and every one. Put in the comments, of course, if you have a birthday in October, so I can give you a shout out in the comments as well. And let's get into the Dollar Tree video, which is why we're here, right? So, I don't know if it was because of the, the all the stuff going on in the world um, in Georgia, the, the chemical leak and the gas leak and all that stuff. And I know I'm just kind of skimming over it. It was pretty serious, but what I'm getting at is they, they the Dollar Tree ran out of Dollar Tree bags. So they gave me everything <laughs> in these black trash bags. And the lady was really great and gave me a box of stuff right here. And I'm gonna pull up the box. I'll show you it after I pull things out of it because it's pretty heavy. I don't know what's going on. They had no Dollar Tree bags, which is fine because I got a billion and one of them anyway. And I actually was gonna go in the house and not even say any of that and put them in other old Dollar Tree bags and just show you them from the bags. But then I thought, I got so much going on. I need to do some more videos. Um, I have been MIA for a hot second. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump into the bag. I do have some Halloween stuff. Guys, this is October. I call this my spooky season. I really, really love the whole thing about Halloween. I grabbed up a few little things here and I do have some more videos coming with Halloween. And then once those get by, I'm gonna start getting into my fall and Christmas stuff, which I'm excited about that. But the first little thing I know that's Halloween because it's the first thing I keep pulling out here is this little, kind of like, and I know there's a glare. I didn't even think about the glare here. Is this little Halloween giant coloring book, right? Guys, how stinking cute is this? This is so me. I remember these kind of the cat with the skeleton body and the big pumpkins that just were laughing all the time. This is just like my school, who, school time memories of that. And I couldn't pass it up because my grandson is into coloring now and it's huge. When I say huge, you know how it is. And I have been getting him all these 
different coloring books and he's just been, you know, pacifying his time with it. We'll just talk because he can talk now. So I did pick up this for $1.25. I thought it was cute and we'll be doing, you know, a couple of pages of these throughout the month of October because why not? It's cheap and it's free time with me, with my grandson and he loves it. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Okay. What is this? Okay, I think I have two of these. I might have to find the other one, but I found these little compartment um, plates, and I don't know why I just had to have them, but there's eight of them in here. And I think what it, my, my, my reasoning was this, is that I have those little plastic ones that I, I bought at the Dollar Tree, and every time my grandson comes over, if he's over for a couple days, you know, he met the food messes up and I don't just go wash them. I just spray them off and stick them in the dishwasher and they're gone. So I just said to myself, self, why don't you just try these out? And he's not over at my house all the time, but I thought this would be something I could just, you know, one and done. And there, there's eight of them and it says for kids, it says microwave safe, soak proof and strong and sturdy. And I had not seen these and you know, they're putting the little stickers here for $1.25 on them when they're $1.25. And yeah, this one's the safari one. And if I'm not mistaken, I do have another one. We shall see. Okay, what's next? All right, another Halloween thing. Guys, I'm randomly just picking everything up out of the bag for sure because I have several of these. Now, do I need another doggone uh, drinking cup? No, but look at these. Look at the little ghosts. The ghosts are just stinking cute. And probably in most of my videos that you're going to see coming up for the rest of the month, because I don't think I have, if I do, they're from last year, have any kind of Halloween things for coffee and for water and stuff. Now, I do have other little things that I use, but this one is definitely going to be something I, you know, secure for the Halloween season. I just thought it was stinking cute. It's, you know, you could do the hot beverages. I did look on there that it's dishwasher safe and it's microwavable safe. And yeah, it's got the little drink cup. And you can use the little sip straws for coffee or you can sip on it. I love it. I don't know what it is with me and these kind of things, but I absolutely positively love it. And I hope, okay, here's the other one. Now, I they had these and I think I put these in my community tab, but this one has more of a rubbery kind of grip. I don't know if you can kind of see this. It's been so long since I've done a car haul, so you can kind of tell it, guys. But yeah, I am just stoked to be doing a video. To be, I'm just happy to be doing a video, and I'm like just going all over the place. But yes, look at this. Look at this, guys. I mean, the color is, this is my color purple. Okay, I always talk about, I love the color purple, probably because it's so many different facets of it. But this kind of plum Deep dark purple is one of my favorite ones and it just screams to me fall. And I got this one mostly for work. I'm gonna take these, this kind, this one definitely to work and keep it. I only go to work like once or twice a week um, because I work like a hybrid job. But I thought, why not have this? They give us coffee there. I can fill this booger up, sit it at my desk and it's cute. I also have one that says Nautica on it. I've got those and I've been interchanging them out at work. And I just throw these in my um, laptop bag and bring it on home. And next time, have it ready, washed up. Dollar twenty-five, guys. Yeah, they said the little stickers on this one too. They're a dollar twenty-five. I love it. I love it. Uh, that's the only two that I bought. They did have like a a brown looking one, and they had a, a sage green one. And I wanted them all, but I said no. I'm not going to do that. All right. So my grandson's birthday is coming up. It's knocking on the door. It's actually coming up a week from today. What well, we're going to be, his birthday's Tuesday, which is two days. Today's Sunday. <laughs> I don't even know what day this is. This is Sunday. So yeah, he's, his birthday's on Tuesday the 9th and we're doing his party on the 12th. So look for that little video. I'm going to kind of put there out for you guys. Um, this is something, and I'm sorry about that glare. It's a, a Hot Wheels little set. And this is going to go in his stocking for me. It's just a little cup. And it also has like this little toy. I guess that's, it's this little stopper that goes onto the, the toothbrush. How stinking cute is that for $1.25? It's that Brush Buddies. And yeah, I did get the soft one for him. And he has his like first dental appointment, I think, I think like next week sometime around the first, the middle of October. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get him this and this will stay at my house. And I just thought it was a stinking cute for $1.25. Hot Wheels, anything with cars and balls and balloons, he loves it. Another thing that I picked up, and guys, this is a hot mess <laughs> random thing. I'm just pulling it straight from the bag. I have nothing organized. You know how I usually kind of sit it out and kind of tell you groups 
Well, it didn't like that in this hot mess one. Okay, this is some OxyClean. I hope this works because I have been dropping things on my clothes or are messing up and having some stains. I seen my grandson with some stains when he eats and I love these little kind of marker kind of things. And this one says OxyClean, um, two times more, $1.25 instantly removes stains. You see that right there? Guys, I hope that's true. Comment, let me know if you've used these kind of things before. I needed this and it just kind of gives you the directions right here. I'm hoping that this is going to work. I don't have anything that says for food, drinks, and cosmetics. Guys, I think that's one of the reasons why that it, I picked it up too because I'll get like, you know, some kind of makeup around my collars and stuff and my shirts and that drives me nuts. And yeah, I haven't seen these in quite a while so I picked up that one. Guys, what? I found this Goya white cornmeal mix for cornbread, right? Now it has a name. I'm not gonna, I probably will butcher it. It's like Mesoparepa. I'm pretty sure I did not say that correctly, but I know the Goya brand is usually pretty doggone good. This is a small little package, which you know, they are putting everything in smaller packages trying to trick you. It actually has, um, 17.6 ounces here which i don't even know it's not a whole big bag but it's enough for me to make what i'm going to try to use this to make some cornbread to mix into my cornbread dressing that i usually do around thanksgiving at least i'm going to try i already had purchased um the white lily one already but i think i'm going to make two separate batches and, and see how they compare goya I thought, wow, that was a pretty doggone good for $1.25. And yeah, I should have picked up more than these, but because I'm not quite sure how it tastes and if I'm going to like it, I, I just wanted to try it out. But I have been seeing them and I'm like, yep, I'm definitely getting that. Another food thing that I picked up for my grandson to snack on when he's around me, and I'm going to try one of these bad boys, is this Sobix. And it's a five pack and it's those chocolate bites. And I think I am gonna open this up so I can show you the package because doggone it, those um, peanut butter, um, ones I told you that looked like, that tasted like the, uh, the Nutter Butters, those things were good. I had to send them suckers home with my daughter because I was like eating them every time I turned around. They had came in these little individual packages. And I was thinking about putting them in with um, Halloween candy stuff, but then someone put in the comments to remember about the nut allergies. And I'm like, ah, so I kind of, I'm not gonna do that. But then I, then I, they're all the kind of candies have nuts in them, I don't know. But this is what it looks like. So these are actually like a little bit bigger. Those Nutter Butter ones are real tiny. Let me see if I can pull this out without it making a lot of noise. Yeah, there you go. It's a snack pack, chocolate. It looks doggone good. It looks like little upper class biscuits on it. It looks like a, a better grade of biscuits with a, a hunk of chocolate in it. It says mini breakfast biscuits. Okay, 100 calories. Um, I love things in these individual snacks because when I take my grandson to the park or if we're just running to go visit somebody or if I'm just sitting there watching some TV with him and he says eat, and he wants something to eat. He, he really means snacks. And you know, there's like five packs of them in here. You know, sometimes that's not the best deal because they do have them with more packages, but I think they're gonna be doggone good. And I did get them to try them because they were new. Comment, let me see. Comment, let me know if you've been seeing these kind of things there. Okay, what is this? Okay, did I? Okay, so I guess I must have just been walking down every aisle and here goes the sun, guys. So I hope I'm not going dark on you. I'm trying to do this before I get in the house and then I'm sorry about that glare. But this is one of those Guru, Guru Nanda Basics and this is the, it's the, it's a teeth whitener. And I have purchased teeth whiteners at the Dollar Tree before and I'm gonna try this bad boy. I've been drinking a lot more coffee now that it's getting into the cooler, you know, kind of fall weather, which actually it's truly not. It's just cooler in the mornings and it's burning up at the, in the afternoons by, by three o'clock, it's like 80 degrees. <laughs> but because I am gonna be, I know I'm gonna be drinking more coffee when it does get cooler, I thought I would go ahead and, uh, you know, tackle my teeth and let's see if this will work. So I'm gonna kind of give you an update on this as I go with it. It's that Pro Formula, $1.25 name brand. I thought it was pretty good. And speaking of coffee, I bought this Papa Nicholas 
and it's the Hawaiian Islands. That just sounds really nice. I don't know if it's even gonna be good or not, but it's the actual pods. It comes four of them in here in this little container, and they actually are for the Keurig, right? Or, you know, a knockoff of Keurigs. And I have one that my mom gave to me a, a long time ago, and I use it to death. And I go back, I switch from the pods to the grounds. It just depends. And they actually had the ground, a little small bag of this one, but I just opted to get this one first to see if I liked this flavor because have you ever done that you're like oh they got all this stuff and you just buy all of them and then you go home and you try one of them you're like I don't like this yeah that's happened to me too many times so I thought I would just try this um you know four pack first and if it's good then I might go back and get me some more of these just to have yeah, guys I picked up some dental floss and the reason why I'm talking about the dental floss is because I haven't had to buy actual dental floss in forever and ever and ever because I have had so many given to me over the years like every time we go to the dentist every time my kids went to the dentist you know i just accumulated boxes and boxes of dental floss well i had this bridge put in my uh, mouth you know it's been since what february march april i don't even know now and i have to floss it pretty good and i just saw been going through the floss more off more so than not because i usually use the picks I don't like flossing, but like the dentist says, who does? So anyway, long story short, I had gotten down to no floss. And I'm like, wow, I'm going to actually have to buy it. And I just picked this up at the Dollar Tree, but I am going to be buying it in bulk because apparently I'm going to have to be using it all the time more than I used to, which is not a bad thing, right? We need to floss our teeth, right? So let's talk about the little one first. I don't know why I bought two different ones. I think it was just because they were in two different containers. This one's 175 yards compared to this BB one, which is only, this one says 100 yards. They're both mint though. I'm trying to do it where you can't see the glare. So there's the mint on both of these. This one's just a little bit um, has a little bit more five and this one's a hundred. That's the only difference I can see except one's a green box and one's a white box So yeah, I had to break down and buy some dental floss Exciting, right? How are you guys doing? I mean seriously, it seems like it's been a long time since I got in front of a camera Just to hang out with you guys and I miss you. I miss you so much that you don't even know so I bought some more of these Margaret Holmes because I you know, I just was craving some butter beans and some collard greens and guys these are a dollar 25 and at like walmart um kroger Publix, whatever your grocery store is they're like double that now some of them are still like under a dollar like a dollar some of them are still like a dollar 79 or whatever but some of them are over two dollars for this margaret Holmes. and i just happen to like them it's i like these better than the old glory for some reason but i just got one of the the butter beans i did get one collard green and I thought I had, yeah, I had another one over here. What was this one? Oh, and I got the tomatoes, okra and corn and I'm going to be making some vegetable soup and I'm not going to be making a big, well, I say all that and I'm going to be making some vegetable soup and with the collards and the butter beans, I'll probably maybe even using it to try out this cornbread because I thought it was a pretty doggone good. So got these for $1.25 and I'm putting these back in this little box. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to be doing some editing and some bloopers. Okay. And I think that is all the food stuff I have. This is a craziness over here. If you saw the inside of my car, guys. So let me talk about, oh no, I do have something else that's kind of food related that I am definitely going to be trying on camera. This is called, um, K-A, car, it's called Karma. And you can't even see it, guys. Okay, Karma. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's Karma and it's a probiotic water and it has this little cap right here can you see that and it has like this little powder stuff that you're going to mix in to this water and you shake it up and yeah i'm going to try this this will be i don't know i don't know if i'll do it in another dollar tree video but you will be seeing this and i only got one because i didn't know if i was going to like it but if i do i think this is ingenious and it'll get me some probiotics in my body it's peach lemonade on top of that Hopefully it's going to be good. And I'm so sorry about that glare, but look for me to do this Karma and what a name. And I don't, I guess that's just the name of the company. Yeah, Karma, all right. So yeah, I'm putting, I've got this little box here, but I'm having to put everything back in it because I can't lift it. Luckily she gave me a box instead of a bag for the heavier stuff. So I thought that was pretty sweet of her. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna 
be drinking this water for you guys and we will see that how that tastes on camera all right i did go ahead and i picked up these cups for you know because it's that four pack and I, I love anything with a four pack three pack two pack you got me sold and this one says a bon appetit <laughs> and i do have one more halloween um kind of seasonal item that i did pick up in the three and five dollar section but guys i still have the purple ones and the um orange cups from last year they did not disappear because my kids weren't with me but if my kids would have been hanging around they i'd have never seen these glasses again so i just went ahead and picked up this one because i didn't have the black one and i'm going to use the ones from last year too and i like to drink water out of these especially when i'm working outside or if i come in and i'm trying to grab something real quick because i can you know grab one of these out of there i just think this is so festive and i think the little skeletons are pretty stinking cute guys i bought this thing called a psychic spear for a dollar 25 and it's a ball and i'm about to open it up here in the car and it's got something inside of it that's kind of like a little dice thing <laughs> isn't that crazy and you kind of i guess you just kind of ask it a questions right and you have the little dice here and i just thought this was a stinking cute they had them in different colors and i just love stuff like this and i like it when they're in little bags because not everybody's been touching them but yes let me ask a little question here let's say let, okay let's ask will i get to fifteen thousand subscribers by november 26 my birthday <laughs> let's see what it says what does it say i can't read backwards for you yes oh my god i cannot make <laughs> i cannot make this stuff up guys for you yes okay i didn't make it up i can't make it up so yeah i love it i love these kind of things for a dollar 25 i'll mess around with it it's just fun but it's a little psychic ball with a little dice in it. It's almost like a knockoff of the of the eight ball, right? That you shake up. And I have several of those and they never do work. They are all dysfunctional. But that one was perfect, okay? 15,000 subscribers, you know I'm trying to get there, guys. It seems like I've been a stagnant. So please like, share, comment, check to make sure that you're subscribed. Yes, just do that for me from the bottom of my heart. And I thank you and I love you to death. Okay, so I did get some cleaning supplies. I picked up this humongous, amazing, it even says it right here on the front, amazing value, and it's a Furniture Plus wipes, and it does have a lot. It has 160 wipes in here. I don't know if I've had this before. I've gotten a bunch of things like this before, but I couldn't remember if I had the furniture ones, and I am dusting and wiping and getting uh, most of my little furniture and stuff that I have. It, say, and it says it's good for wood furniture, tables and chairs, office furniture, cabinets, bedroom furniture and more and guys i need this for my office because i'm constantly wiping down things in there and i'm i run out of wipes i go through them so fast so i thought i would try this and we shall see the only thing that aggravates me sometimes about these contraptions and i couldn't really do it in the store because they got a seal here is that sometimes these little lids if you hold them like this the whole thing will fall off and if it does that i'm going to be aggravated but they still work you just have to make sure you hold it from the side and don't pull it up like that because i have several containers that do that this is just um extra large pack non-abrasive formula it doesn't say who it's by but it says excellent for all those things i talked about and i might even look on the qr code and kind of check it out to see but yeah it says it's made in the us of a and pick that up as a cleaning supply i also got some more of this cleaning dishes is that foamy dish spray it's a different brand than what i had but i actually like this stuff because when you're one or two people and you're not washing dishes every time you turn around i can sometimes spray this especially when i eat my lunch at home and i you know have some stuff in the sink i can spray this stuff on it let it sit there and by the time i get off work i can walk into my kitchen getting ready for to, to prepare dinner or whatever and i can kind of spray it off and it, it kind of gets really good for me to put it inside the dishwasher now it is by powerhouse i thought that was a pretty good name name brand i've used that before um lemon scent a dollar 25 12 fluid ounces and yeah i picked that up for the cleaning and i did pick up this right here because i haven't seen these in a hot minute and i i don't remember why i got away from them but i just love these the colors inside the toilet bowl 
I really was looking for purple and I'm still on the, the hunt for that because I'm decorating kind of like in Haunted Mansion accents if I if you hadn't already known that for me speaking about it for every single video for the last month or two um, and I thought purple would kind of match everything but I didn't see any purple but I saw the blue and if I do go to another different store and I pick up some purple I'll alternate it but this stuff is pretty cool to put in the toilet bowl just to have an extra oomph to kind of clean it when I'm not cleaning it like I should be which because I've been getting really really lazy but it's another name brand it's that tidy bowl it has a little latch right here that you pull out it's gonna let me pull it out and it hooks onto your toilet bowl and it just kind of drips out the little blue water and I purchased that that is definitely a re repeat all right I saved the best for last guys now I am not and I mean and I'm not a spray person matter of fact sprays actually aggravate my you know sinuses or allergies or whatever they want I want to you know some certain sprays will definitely cause me to flare up like a puffer puffer fish and I don't do that, but I saw these in the Dollar Tree, and I think they're different. I don't remember them, and I bought only three of them, but they had every single flavor you could imagine, and they had the peppermint. But the, the funny thing about this peppermint, now this is Wizard, and it says the Magic of Fresh, and this one's Peppermint Twist, if you can see that right there. Peppermint Twist. And guys, they're pretty big cans, and I'm gonna spray this one, because the thing about peppermint, I'm gonna spray it kind of far out of that. It, it smells, it doesn't smell like peppermint. It does, but it doesn't. So I only got one of these, but guys, they had the pop-ups, they had the ones that spray every hour, I don't know what you call them, that just you know instantly pray, sprays when you set it up. They had the little pop-up ones that are just like a solid, and I was like, I'm gonna, you know, have to just get this and try it out. This is really gonna be around the holidays. But these two, I was blown away. This one, let's talk about this one. Now, I don't know if this is Wizard. That one might not even be Wizard. So let me do this one since it's Wizard and the other one was. But this is Wizard, and I don't know if they stole this from Bath and Body Works, but it says, can you see that? I don't know, because I'm, I'm, I can't really tell because right here I've got my little mirror from my car that you can even see that, but it says sweater weather. And I thought, isn't that a Bath and Body Works kind of thing? Is this a dupe? This stuff smells divine. I'm gonna spray it out. I don't know if it's gonna work because I sprayed that peppermint. Oh my gosh, yes. And I mean, this is nice. This kind of just smells like a crisp winter morning. I don't know how to explain it, but that Wizard brand is on point. And it's a, this one's actually an odor neutralizer and air freshener. Was that other one an odor neutralizer? Yeah, odor neutralizer and air freshener. They're probably all like that. But guys, this one right here, this is a Nordic. And I am going back. I mean, I, I, I just was just had so much in my cart and I was really getting tired and I was thinking I should go back and get some more of these before they go away. But this smells like a fresh, you just got out of a fresh shower and you just feel fresh. Everything just feels fresh and clear and clean and crisp it's divine it is an odor neutralizer and it just says nordic with essential oils maybe that's what it is because it's got essential oils right there and again i know this isn't the best place to be doing these hauls today in the car my apologies in advance but you probably wouldn't have seen this video for for a couple more days if i wouldn't have done it now all right last but not least i did put this in my community tab this is my, this is a repeat buy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I actually went back to the Dollar Tree today to pick up just some more of these. And this was the only one they had left. I have two in the house and one is actually going to be for a, it's going to be a stocking stuffer for somebody. This is wonderful. The bombshell is the, it's like a, it's like a perfume or, or cologne kind of thing. Oh my gosh. And I, like I said, stuff will bother me. And it's just a scented impression of the of that fragrance bombshell. If you don't know what it is, go look it up. And it's by Ariel. Ariel. And you open it up, and it's kind of like this right here. It's like a little sticky thing. Oh my gosh! But it is overpowering for me. And I actually am putting one in my garage. I'm probably going to move this into the garage because it is so fragrant. 
and sometimes it does aggravate me but when it's in the garage and i'm not out in the garage except when i go in and out of the car it kind of helps the air move and the smell is nice but it is a little loud it's a little it's a lot more than i can handle but when i had this in the house somebody kept my daughter she came in she says oh my gosh i love that smell of it so you know whether she's watching or not she's gonna be getting one of these for her stocking stuffer because it'll last it'll last another six weeks right because christmas is a knock knock knocking at the door comment let me know if you are seeing christmas out at your dollar trees and in your stores i'm seeing it kind of flicker in and there i'm seeing some youtubers already starting to do their their christmas hauling and i'm like am i just late to the game or what but anywho guys that's wrapping up my dollar tree car hot mess video whatever you want to call it it's great to be back in front of the camera and stick you know stay tuned because i have some more videos coming and some more videos coming after that and more videos coming after that you know how i roll and i think you're going to see a lot more of me than not in the next couple of weeks so until then guys stay safe and stay happy thanks for watching and again like share and comment and if you're new put in the comments that you're new and you're a new subscriber so i can say hi and welcome to the chaos all right guys I'll see you in the next one bye and i'm back oh my gosh this is such a hot mess guys I'm telling you, you would think I didn't know how to do a video. But remember I told you that I had one item that I got from the 3 and $5 section and I wanted to take it inside and I almost did and was going to come back out and do it and I just thought that was just doing too much. I did pick up this little cute little cat that says eek and it was in the five dollar section and yes i paid the five dollars for it now it does have a place to put the batteries right here does it say what it's less says lights up batteries not included two AAA batteries need to go in it and it has the lights that are showing up here and i'm going to definitely do you know some decorating i'm kind of a little bit behind on my little decorating i've got stuff started but because of the birthdays and then my grandson's birthdays coming up this coming weekend, I really hadn't wanted to put it a lot out. So, you know, I'm kind of decorating as I go. And of course I'm gonna do like a little broom to room kind of thing for you guys soon. So yeah, got this little cute little kitty cat. And this time for real, I'll see you soon. Bye. Love ya.